to talk to you about the Counter Ambush Home Training Course. Now, the Counter Ambush Home Training Course was actually released for sale on Black Friday just a few weeks ago. And it's been shipping and people have been receiving it. And some of the comments and feedback have been great. A lot of people are very excited about this, but a lot of people really don't know what it is. Okay, so now we've actually got one in our hands. It's a nice box. It's going to ship to you in some other outer box. You're going to open it up and this is what you're going to see, the home training course. Now, there have been a lot of different reactions to the idea of a counter ambush training course that's actually a home study or a distance learning course. So there's been people who have been very excited about it. There's people who have been very skeptical of it. And there's people who have been confused by it. So this video will help to educate people about exactly what this is and then of course you decide if it's something you find valuable if it's something that you want to get involved with something you want to learn from and actually go ahead and take the course and get your certificate of completion for this home course and this is the first time I've offered any kind of distance learning or home course of course I'm here in my home to talk to you about it today and when you get this it's going to be something that you just kind of pop open and you're going to see immediately this little sign that says stop now this is the equivalent of instructions most of us, we're going to open this up, we're probably going to look at this and say, stop, but wait, I want to see what's in the box. Well, the reality is, if you do call this number and you listen to the recording, and if you do listen to the quick start guide, which is actually an audio in here that we're going to see, this is going to make a lot more sense. It's going to make sense. You're going to understand exactly what you're supposed to do. Watch this first, read this first, read and watch back and forth, do the workbook, and then eventually get ready to take the online test. So this helps you figure out exactly what it is you're supposed to do with everything that's in here. But of course, what we're really interested in is what's in here. Well, the first part, the centerpiece really, is this five DVD set. Now this is a lecture DVD set. This is a series of lectures and presentations that I did in 2012. And this talks about counter ambush from a variety of different aspects. And when we talk about counter ambush, it's important to understand what I'm talking about. We're not talking about a military training regimen of, you know, if, if the bad guys start shooting at you while you're walking in patrol, you know, you assault through. We're not talking about that kind of counter ambush idea. What we're talking about is the concept, the mindset of counter ambush training and what that means. And what it really means is that if you're thinking that you're going to be in your perfect ready position, maybe with the gun out, challenging someone and then you're going to have to shoot them to defend yourself, you're probably way off base. In fact, most people get caught completely off guard and regardless of how great awareness is and how much we preach awareness and we tell people to always you know, check their six and have their head on a swivel and sit with your back to the wall, the reality is we know that if we did see bad things coming, we'd avoid them. And the reality is sometimes people do have to use guns to defend themselves and this, this is military, law enforcement, security and of course personal defense and home defense overwhelmingly those are situations which you didn't see coming. So by the very definition of a defensive shooting situation, most often it's going to be something you didn't see coming. And that's some of the stuff that we talk about here. The way we define counter ambush training is very simple. We want you to be processing information just prior to the execution of the complex motor skill or in conjunction with that execution. So in other words, we don't want you to choreograph your response. We don't want you to think ahead of time, well, I'm going to shoot twice. I'm going to double tap or I'm going to shoot this guy and swing and shoot that guy, or I'm going to go through a choreographed stage of fire and call it practice. The reality is we want you to be able to be open, taking in the information from the environment, taking in your stimulus, taking in all that data, whether it's sound or vision, processing it and realizing, oh, I need to shoot now. And we can do that in our training environment too, and this kit really helps you understand why that's important and how to do it. So we look at the titles here. We've got uh, Developing a Training Doctrine, the physics of defensive shooting, the physiology of the body's natural reactions, the neuroscience of dynamic critical incidents, and the most likely event. So this five DVD series lets you understand exactly why we're going to do this stuff and then obviously in developing a training doctrine starts getting into how you're going to do this. So the next thing we've got here is, let's go to the book. So this is, uh, I usually put out a, a book every two years. That's been the average. Uh, first book I wrote in 2005, put it out in 2006. Um, then we had another training log book came out in 2008. I updated the combat focus shooting book with Evolution 2010 and now in 2012 I've got Counter Ambush. Um, this book I'm very excited about. This is conceptual. There are sure there's some physics in here. There's some things that you need to understand how to do. There's some ideas about shooting doctrine and defensive shooting. But this really is much more of a conceptual book. It's a, it's a book about the way your brain works. It's a book, book about forming ideas. It's a book about perception and awareness and the difference. Uh, it's a book that talks a lot about the way we process information in our environment and how our, our attention and focus on it honestly is very limited. So we know that right now I'm paying very much attention to what's going on here. Someone could be sneaking up behind me. I'm very aware and alert and ready and I'm, I'm perceiving the camera. I know that I'm talking to a large audience and that this information is very important to my business and to people's education, ultimately maybe to some people's safety. But 
I don't know anything that's going on behind me right now. If I heard a noise, my focus would be drawn over there. I'd turn, and if someone were there, obviously we'd probably cut the video and start over. But right now, I'm very focused in this direction. Well, this book explains a lot of that and helps you understand exactly how that stuff works. Intuitive versus instinctive, aware versus perceived, all of those things are discussed in great detail in here. Very proud of this. Um, foreword by Lieutenant Colonel David Grossman. Uh, I've got some of his books over here somewhere uh, on killing, on combat. Of course, everybody's probably familiar with who David Grossman is. Um, an incredible researcher, an incredible thinker um, in, in regard to people's use of force to defend themselves, uh, both in a military environment and for personal defense. Um, very gracious, uh, very humbling uh, forward that he wrote for me. I'm very proud of. And we'll probably put some pieces of that out on the internet. Um, but that's worth reading. We've also got uh, two appendices, um, one from Ken Murray, um, author of Training at the Speed of Life, um, one of the gurus of reality-based training, and uh, also from Tom Givens. Um, I use a lot of data from Tom Givens' research about what happens in real fights. He has the most extensive collection of data um, from actual personal defense shootings. I rely heavily on a lot of his data to, to form some of the, the concepts and fundamental ideas about what the most likely event is going to be. And and of course, that informs what we're going to train and how we're going to train. Um, but Tom and I have a little different perspective on, on awareness and perception and how we should be teaching that and talking about it. Um, so I put one of his articles in here also to give you another perspective on awareness. Uh, and, a great, and he graciously allowed that to be used in here. So that was pretty cool. Um, what else we got? Here's that quick start guide I was talking about. So this is an audio. This is actually uh, Tim Schmidt and I of the USCCA, United States Concealed Carry Association, helped me produce and are helping me distribute this entire home training course. So it's been a little bit of a team up project. Um, that's been great. And uh, you'll hear Tim and I talk about why this is important, how to use it. And of course, that's why this is referenced in that stop. Uh, use this as the instructions for what you're doing here. Uh, what else we got in here? This is a set of audio CDs. So this is the audio lectures, which of course you can put on an MP3 player, you can put into your uh, computer or whatever, listen while you're driving. Uh, this is the, the audio lectures that get, go along with the uh, home study course here, the uh, actual DVDs. So this is if you're just in the audio or you're out jogging or you're in a place where you can't watch, this lets you listen, continue your study, continue your learning right there. Uh, this is kind of the centerpiece of the home study course, and this really is what sets us apart. It's not just read a book, listen to the video, or listen to the audio, watch the video. This actually gives you stuff to do, to personalize this information, to make it actually apply to you, your family, your circumstances. So you can see, you get in here, and there's a bunch of places for you to fill in the notes and actually do the coursework. This is a home study course. This isn't just read a book and get a certificate. Um, there really is some work that needs to be done here. There's exercises. This one's on balancing risk and benefit in training. Obviously, we talk a lot about safety in our training, and this helps you understand how to do that and how to apply those concepts. What else do we have here? Um, we've got engaging others. So it gives you some exercises to do to engage some others in your environment, whether it's your family or your friends. Uh, that's pretty cool. This exercise here lets you allot your training resources, especially your time and your budget, to really make a list. You know, what are you willing to commit? Uh, memberships to personal defense related organizations, magazine subscriptions related to the personal defense. What's your interest level? Just point blank. You know, circle a number. Are you really interested in this? Or are you just doing this because you feel like you have to? Or is it the other way around? Maybe you really feel like you have to, but you're not that interested in doing it. Understanding your mindset as you approach your training is an important part of developing any training program, but especially one that relies so heavily on intuitive responses and things like that. Uh, what else we got in here? Then this is about um, how you earn your certificate, how you uh, actually go ahead and complete the course. You take an online test. It'll be a 50 question test and you have to get 90%. If you don't get 90%, you're going to get kicked out. And you'll get three opportunities to take that test. So you do get to retest. Every time you go back, the test is scrambled and we do have extra questions. So you may not get the same set of questions. Kind of like when you go to, to you know the DMV or something and you're going to take the, the driving test. Um, you don't always get exactly the same questions. They're not always in the same order. We're doing exactly the same thing here. One of the things that is confused people or one of the things people have been skeptical about is what? Counter ambush training at home. That's ridiculous. It's a scam. It's a money making idea, whatever. I understand that skepticism. What people have to understand is this isn't the replacement for a hands on course. This is a conceptual course. This is about learning how and why to train, how you should be training, how you should be structuring your training, why you should approach this from an off balance, you know, again, counter ambush point of view. So, if you understand that, understand what this is, you understand why the test is so important. The test actually makes sure that you did the work, that you read the book, that you learned the information, that you now understand. And again, you may not agree with everything here, but if you, just like any other course, if you go to the course and you do the work, you're going to get a certificate of completion. Now, it's not an instructor certificate. You probably can't take it down to your local sheriff's office and get a concealed carry permit. That's not the purpose here. This is something about understanding how and why to train in a specific way 
for the best preparation for your personal defense, defense of others, including your family in the home or outside of the home. So that certificate simply says, yes, you did the work. Yes, you learned something. You demonstrated that, that you did learn that. You took the test. You passed it with a 90% or better. You're going to get that certificate. Uh, and then the last thing we have in here is a couple special reports, a couple extra bonus articles. Um, again, they, they go with this information. They help you apply the information. They help you understand it. And uh, there's tips for training at a traditional indoor range because, of course, a lot of the things that you see us do in the video clips or at Personal Defense Network or on the TV shows, you can't do a lot of those things at the traditional indoor range. Well, there's an article in here that helps you understand how to apply this information when you're just doing that kind of stand in the stall, shoot in a straight line kind of stuff. And then uh, handgun recommendations, our recommendation for defensive guns. You know, what you should you look for, what you should be uh, thinking about when you go to purchase your gun or if you go to get a new gun, or maybe in a way to evaluate and apply some of the things that we talk about in the book and in the videos in the physics of defensive shooting and make sure that your, your gun actually fits uh, your best needs, what you actually need when you're in that moment, when you're in that counter ambush defensive moment. So we can pack all this back up in this box, and that's kind of the way we found it. And I hope that uh, that clarifies maybe some of the questions, some of the uh, confusion about exactly what this is, exactly what you're getting. The Counter Ambush Home Training Course, um, you know, I'm very proud of it. I'm very excited about it. I think this is something that we're going to be doing more often in the future as we find courses and coursework that are appropriate for people to get able uh, get ex get access to, be able to take advantage of from a distance learning standpoint, whether it's online videos, DVDs, books, and then of course an online test to verify that you did the work and completed the course. So ICE Training Company is very proud of this. I'm very excited to be teamed up with the United States Concealed Carry Association. Exceptionally proud to have David Grossman write the foreword for that book. And I uh, can't wait to hear your thoughts on the concept, of course, and especially for those of you who go ahead and order this uh, package, whether you, even if you just get the DVDs, which are available separately, you get the book that's available separately, and then that leads to you wanting to do the whole home study course. That's very exciting too. Okay, I appreciate your time, appreciate your attention. Of course, we appreciate you following all the information we put out, whether it's at Personal Defense Network, on the YouTube clips, at the Facebook, uh, my blog articles that come out at icetraining.us, and of course, all the information that comes out through the United States Concealed Carry Association also. And I hope you'll take advantage of this opportunity, read the book, watch the DVDs, maybe take the whole course, or of course, show up uh, on a range or in a classroom somewhere to actually do some live training with me, ICE Training, or the rest of the Combat Focus Shooting Instructor Team.